Open Rail Designer, we have the geometry attached as a reference and displayed as a plan 3D and schematic model. Let's start placing an isolation joint. We will offset and rule the joint to a clearance point and we will continue to place a signal. We will use the schematic model for placing the signal. Again, we will rule the signal to the isolation joint and continue to place a balise. And finally, we will place a cabinet. If we select one of the equipment and using the move manipulators, we can clearly see that the three models are synchronized. So any update in the plan view or schematic view will update all the other models. We can also use the batch tool for placing equipment. In this case, we will place three cable pits. We will be using linear referencing data as well as coordinates for positioning the cable pits. The one that was placed with coordinates, if we select that one, we can afterwards apply the rules. So cable trenches. We'll place a cable trench from a cable pit and we will follow the geometry to another cable pit where we will terminate the trench. We'll change the type of a trench to a multi-duct and we will place that between the cabinet and to the main trench. Cables. We'll place a cable from the cabinet to the signal. The cable properties will contain connectivity data.